Welcome back to Box Office Maniacs, and for the next six days on here, you're not going to get rid of me. <laughs> I'm going to get on here every day, hopefully every day, and talk to you about this thing that's been going on with one of my all-time favorite movies, Alien. Okay, so I guess at some point they had a contest for fans to make Alien films, and I guess six of them got chosen by 20th Century Fox to be shown on YouTube. So for the last couple of weeks now, they've actually been showing one of the short films like every week or every other week they've been showing them. So right now we are on the fifth one that just came out. So we have one more to go and I'm hoping they're gonna show it before the end of this week or possibly next week because what I'm doing here is I'm gonna be reviewing every one of those short films. When this channel first started, maybe it was even a year after it started, Vince and I took on the task of reviewing this thing here. This is the Alien Anthology. And it was Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, and Alien Resurrection. And this was one of the hardest things that we actually ever did on this channel because there was so much information in this um, box set and we reviewed all of it. We reviewed all the extras, all everything. <laughs> and it took us weeks and months to actually get it all together and then we, when we actually posted it on YouTube, they took it down because of copyright issues. So it never really even got posted. And I think there is one of them that is still up. I don't know which one it is, but uh, I would have loved to had one of those or have all of them to show you and try to re-edit them so it wasn't as copyrighted as it was back when we did it. <laughs> but I don't think they exist anymore. I think YouTube got rid of them. And I, as far as I know, I don't have any copies of them. But yeah, this was, up until this point, up until this coming Tuesday, I think this was the best way to ever actually watch the Alien films. The clarity in this box set was astounding. It was incredible. So I don't know what the 4K version of this is going to do. And it comes out this coming Tuesday. And don't worry, I will have an unboxing for you right here on the channel. But for right now, let's get into these short films. The first one is called Containment, and that's the one I'm going to be reviewing for you tonight. Now each one of these is around 10 minutes long, and like I said, they aren't really big, huge, blockbuster, effects heavy, some of them actually are though, but most are not really that effects heavy Hollywood films. These are made by fans of the Alien series, and that's awesome. That really is really cool that they allowed them to do that. And it just goes to show you how good just regular everyday people who want to break into film can actually be because this stuff is really good, or a lot of it is really, not all of it's great, but <laughs> most of it is really good. So the first one here is called Containment, like I said, and it starts with an interesting effect. It's basically uh, this little ship going across the bottom of the screen. All you see is sort of a silhouette of the ship, and then it breaks up and explodes. It's a really cool, easy effect to do, and it might have been animated. I you can't really tell. It was a really nicely done effect, and it was pretty impressive for the zero budget I'm sure these people have. So this whole entire short takes place in a shuttle, and one of the people is asleep, and the one woman is awake, and she's trying to wake this guy up, and then there's uh, another woman who is, is sort of knowing what's going on, I guess. So this one I think was going for sort of the claustrophobic um, feel to it because it all takes place in one little tiny room, one little shuttle. Plus I'm sure the people who made it, that was the budget, was they put all their money into that one little room to create it and it works. And it works really well here. The acting here is actually pretty good. I think everybody did a really good job. So of course, you know, once they escaped that actual ship, they don't really talk about what happened on the ship, but they're in their little shuttle. I'm assuming it's sort of the same shuttle that was in uh, Alien. I'm assuming it's supposed to have been like that, I guess. And right off, you know that probably somebody has an alien inside of them. Now, the only thing about this short is you don't really get to see the alien. You actually don't get to see the alien at all. You don't even get to see the face hugger in this short. So when I saw this, I'm like, okay, is that the way it's going to be for all of the other movies? Are they not going to show? The face hugger? Are they not going to show uh, the xenomorph? Because, you know, is that going to be too expensive for them to do? But in this one, they definitely did not show that. It was left up sort of to your imagination, because you know what the things look like if you've ever seen the alien movies. So was it necessary to see it? I mean, and, you know, I think it was. 
I would have liked to have seen the facehugger in this, at least a little shot of one. If they didn't have the budget, you know, they do have face huggers. They could have probably bought a model scale of one and, and attempted to move it around or something. Um, but I would have liked to have seen the actual face hugger in this movie. So when I first heard about these fan made films, I was like, okay, how bad are these actually going to be? But the production value is impressive. It, they did a really, really great job with this. It's kind of a straightforward story. I'm not going to tell you the whole thing because if you want to go back and watch it, and I absolutely would tell you to go back and watch all of these so far. Even if even though if they're not that great, <laughs> go back and watch them just to see the effort these fans actually put into making a short from Alien. And anything that's taking place inside the Alien universe, I want to see. I want to cuz it's been such a long time since I've seen a really great Alien film, you know, I really want to see what these fans have to offer. So overall, the first one here, Containment, I would give a 3 out of 5. It's a good short. It's uh, well done, well directed. It does have a little bit of um, tension in it, but not a whole lot. The acting is pretty good, but there's zero effects when it comes to showing the alien. There's, there's nothing. <laughs> So being that it is Alien Week here, I actually did review this guy, the Xenomorph, over on my other channel, It Figures. And if you love action figures from movies or cartoons or just anything, I have it over there. And I think it was last week I, I reviewed this guy. And I'll put the link to it below so you guys can click on it and check it out if you like to. So that's it for today. I will be back tomorrow with the second short. And then Tuesday, I will be doing the unboxing for Alien 4K, so you don't want to miss on that. And I'll be doing the other short as well that day. Because, like I said, there's going to be six of them, so that's why I'm starting it today, to go through Sunday through next Friday, hopefully. Hopefully they will show all six of them by next Friday. So as always, if you're not one of our maniacs on here, hit the subscribe button. And if you are a filmmaker and you make short films and you want me to review them on here, please send them to me in my email. It's also down there. I've actually gotten several emails from a few people who wanted me to check out their full movies they've made, but I haven't had the time yet to do it, but I will. You know, for those who are watching this, who have sent me those emails, I will check out your movies and I will get on here and review them for you. So if anyone has a short film or a full length movie and you want me to review it, absolutely send me an email to link to it and I will do that for you. Until then, hopefully everybody has a happy, fun Alien Week here on Box Office Maniac.